Good one. Donna, Roisin and uh, Rosie. Silverware at an open night in cabin from a lady's perspective. Has to be great, Roisin. It is, it's a great honour. Um, we're delighted with it now. It's great to bring it out to show it all the supporters. Um, it's been very good to us over the years, so it's great to bring it out and show it to all the young ones. Hopefully they'll strike it someday. Can you remember coming back at Tamahara, walking it across the border? <laughs> yeah, I don't think. I think that's the day we'll never forget. Like We, we didn't know what was going to be happening after after we won, so um, it was all a surprise to us until we actually got to um, Mahara and just walking a cup over the line um, into Calvin there was just, it was such an achievement and I think it, that's when it really hit in. Like after the game, you know, yeah, we, we knew we had won it, but it really hit in when we were walking across and we've seen the amount of people, like we never expected so many people to turn out that, that evening. Um, you know, we knew the support was great in Crow Park, but for people, you know, on a Sunday evening to wait around and, and show us the support like that, it was just, it was phenomenal. And we went on to Virginia and the crowds there and then into Calvin, like it, it was just, it's definitely something that will stay in our mind. Having spent some time in Virginia College, it was obviously nice to stop off <laughs> as your first stop coming back with yeah. the club. Oh, it was brilliant now. It was a great experience to see so many students already. I think it eased me into the school, but uh, no, it was lovely to stop there and sure it was great. I had the cup in with me on the Tuesday and uh, it was great for the students and you know it was good for them to see what the hard work uh, you know finally paid off for it. it was 10 years in the in the, in the Cummins cabin and you know it was great for them to actually get a, get a look at it and see what hard work paid off. Now it's a new year obviously it's a new ball game. It is completely yeah and um, it's hard after having so such a good year last year to keep everyone encouraged and to keep going this year so um, we're working hard since January and the first round championship now on 21st of June against Monaghan um, we did well against Galway, we lost by two points to a brilliant game and then last weekend playing Kinder. So um, uh, this year we'll work hard and see how we get on against the senior teams. And ladies football in the county, going reasonably well at the moment? Um, I'd say better than reasonably, you know, you have um, underage there that Minor. you have and, and the minors you have. I think every every group in the underage level are in an Ulster final this year. Which, oh, in a, you know, which we haven't for which is, time. Yeah, it's we just haven't had minors in, in an Ulster final NBA competition in a long time. So. You know, them girls are coming up and they're going to strengthen the panel as well. And a massively comprehensive victory against Rome last week. Yeah. Great, yeah, yeah, it was great. Now, we weren't great in the first half. It was kind of hard to get used to conditions. You know, it was great pitch, but but wet conditions. And, um, no, we, we worked hard in the second half. You know, it's a new kind of team this year, so we're kind of rebuilding. And, um, you know, even in the league there, when you lost Galway by two points, they're a senior team. So, we'll be hopeful now. You know, we've got a few weeks to go with them on it. So, Know what well, we wish you well, and we want to see you back at meet and greet next year with yeah. more silverware. Thanks, Thanks guys. Man.